what is up my gang what is up my squad t gang in this thing what's poppin with y'all what's up t gang welcome back to my channel so today i'll be doing a reaction to king von the soft the soft spoken assassin so we're gonna get to it but smash the like button comment something you want to see below and subscribe and click the bell and join the game if you're new then definitely subscribe because we're going nowhere but up and follow me on my social media definitely follow me on my instagram the real underscore is tania's world and my tiktok is tania's world i don't want to keep saying thank you guys for giving me 2,000 subscribers and 11,000 followers on TikTok, but I can't do nothing but actually really help. I mean, actually say thank y'all for helping me get there because without y'all, I wouldn't be there. But I'm, I'm stop. I won't say it no more. We're gonna get to it. Ooh, that's loud. <laughs> Breaking news live from Chopper to a mass shooting. At least six people shot. This all happening at 65th and King Drive at Parkway Gardens. The age ranges of those people ranging from 14 to 23 years old. Hey, my man, don't come here. Please don't. His name is Davon Bennett, a.k.a. King Von. Look, I know this freaking video just started, but I'm taking that into consideration. He said, if you ain't from here, don't come here. Fully noted. It is noted. I know I have people from Chicago that be watching my videos. So if that's a real thing, let me know that down below. <laughs> if I ain't from there, I won't come there. <laughs> I'm not from there. I'm not from Chicago. Just let me know in the comment section below. I just, I wanna know. She's been on the streets for too long. I want him off the street today. You guys ready? Ready for this. Yeah. All right, so probably the person that I get the most requests to do a video on, and the rapper I've been rocking with for a while now is King Von. No doubt, the most demonic figure that's come out of Chicago since the drill music wave in the 2010s. Fans are really enamored with his storytelling and music videos, but for the life of me, I don't know how King Von is a free man. I mean, bless him. All blessings to him. He's somehow been able to two-see slide and dodge every single case that's been thrown at him since he was 15. And while his partner Rondo was toting a bazooka on the gram, King Von was on Twitter arguing with a mortal enemy over how many bodies they each got. And this was trolling the fuck out of the police, right? They couldn't stand it. See, in Chicago, only 20% of murders ever get proven. 80% go unsolved. 20 years for the murders. Plus the gunman, that's, been lost. that's 21 years. So that's 41 years just for the murder. I got two or 10 murders. And you beat all those charges. You were acquitted. Yeah, on play. Now, we're gonna get into all this, but before we do, let me show you my song of the day. This is Mark Battles. Let's go. Okay, dude. I'm, he... Mark Paddles probably left you a request to freaking react to his stuff. I ain't freaking say I want to react to his stuff. And this story, we gotta go to Chicago. More specifically, the Parkway Gardens in the South Side. But you probably know it as Oak Block. Now, not only is this the home of Chief Keith and King Von, it's also the home of the former First Lady, Michelle Obama, who, when she looks back at her experience, says it was never as bad as it is now. The area has always been a huge war between two... Okay, no no offense, but she a lot older. Unless the part she lived in, because I have heard some stories from way back. But I'm not exactly sure what year she was born. It probably did get a lot worse. I don't doubt it. I want to know what part she's from and what year she was born, because... I don't see Chicago not being that bad to like, you know what? I take that back because it's a lot, it's a lot of killings that be going on in Chicago <laughs> and I'm not from Chicago so I'm not sure it could be a lot more than what everybody in the world know. Like part of me feel like that's true and then part of me is like, mm, I don't know. Actions, I don't the know BDs about that one. and the GDs. And this war has been going back since at least the 90s. But back then, there was more structure, it was organized, and it was mostly a battle over drug trade. The BDs controlled a massive 16 story housing complex just two minutes away from O Block, posting snipers on the roof to protect their drug dealers. Lookouts were equipped with night vision goggles, and the entire organization was pulling in $300,000 a day for damn near 15 years. The BDs were run like a corporation. Money was laundered through investments into apartment buildings, a record label called MOB, a car wash, and a nightclub in Atlanta. But the leadership was taken out in 2004 with a massive police raid. Their headquarters was permanently closed and eventually demolished. 50 people were charged. Whole leadership 
gone. All the BDs migrated to Oblock and created alliances with the sets around the area to go against their rival gang, the GDs. Now the GDs, which stands for Gangster Disciples, also had their leadership taken down. And now neither of the two gangs have any structure anymore coming from the top to the bottom. It's basically just kids running around with a profound hatred for each other, trying to blow each other's heads off. And this shit escalated even further in the 2010s with Chief Keef and the rise of drill music. Chief Keef, Rondo, Lil Reese, Lil Dirk, and most of the people who saw success during the height of the drill scene were all black disciples. The gangster disciples had very little representation in mainstream music. The most notable figures were FBG Duck, Lil J, Lil Jojo. So the fact that Chief Keef and Oblock were able to control the airwaves and the popular sound made it so they could put super disrespectful lyrics towards the gangster disciples in their songs, and it would become mainstream. Best example is Tuka. Tuka's death became the focal point. Yo, what? What? What did I just? What was that? What was that? I've never heard that song, and I'm glad I never. I don't. I don't. I listen to Chief. I only like two songs by Chief Keef, and that's like the only two songs that's like really well known by Chief Keef. I've tried to listen to other songs besides I Don't Like and Love Sosa. After those two, I don't really like Chief Keef like that, but I just want to know what that was. And I'm telling y'all now, if somebody recommend me react to that, it's it's not getting put out because I don't know what I just listened to. I don't know what I listened to. a lot to. of dollars because the gang members that killed Tuka then used social media to really insult his men. In this case, you have this young man actually in his coffin right. and this image has also been defiled see tuka was a deceased 15 year old boy that chief keef and dirk would constantly mock in their songs and the lyric became so popular you had rappers like lil pump who had nothing to do with the situation he's from miami you had young ma who's from new york and even nle chopper who's from memphis they would use tuka in their songs or in everyday life without even knowing what it meant now, you recently said some shit about Lil Pump. Mm-hmm. Did he use the, the smoking toque a lot? To this day, he probably thinks that everything I do, but no, when I see you, I'm gonna slap you. Young M.A. said it in, in her verse, and then, and then she apologized for it. And that's all I wanted. See, the hatred between the GDs and the BDs ran so deep. The feud was so strong. You even got King Von on video teaching a little kid how to shoot a water gun while saying F Tuka. Hey. Fuck Tuka. Fuck Tuka. Shoot him in his head. Boom. Fuck Tuka. Say it. Now the death of this kid Tuka spawned something that was never before seen. A 17 year old female assassin named Jakira who created a oh. social media account dedicated. I thought it was Jakira. Is it Jakira or Jakira? I just told my brother last night. I was like, I like King Von, but. If I had a daughter, I think I would name her Jakira. If it's Jakira, it's going if I had a daughter and I named her the same name, it's going to be pronounced Jakira because I like that name. That's a really cute name for a girl. I would have to break down why her name is what her name is and all that, but <laughs> but I like that name, but I'm not sure if it's Jakira or Jakira, Jakira Barnes. J I think it's Jakira. I don't care. And she is death. She was known to her rivals as somebody who was willing to, to shoot first, to ask questions later. It's all over the internet. Jakira was on social media bragging about the shootings that she had done. She was proud and she let everybody know. She was very quick to let you know that she was violent and that she was not afraid to shoot somebody. It was said Jakira was responsible for at least 15 shootings before she herself was eventually killed. Afterwards, a 4chan user hacked her Twitter and leaked DMs showing her and King Von had this weird back and forth where King Von was attempting to romance her in like a mocking way. I don't know, maybe it was real. Despite the fact that they were both rival gang members. And she didn't like dudes, she liked girls. But reading the tweets and listening to his interviews, you could tell King Von is a clever, smooth talker, right? He's smooth, but he's also a goddamn demon. A blood trail seems to follow him wherever he goes. And King Von was becoming an infamous his figure in the Chicago PD briefing room. It's all they hated him. Police would bring him in for an armed robbery charge, possession of an illegal firearm. He looked rough in that freaking picture. He, I, I think I got so used to him seeing him with dreads. I, he don't, he, 
he was still alive, I would tell him, don't ever cut his dreads. Just let them things grow. That mean you gotta freaking pick him up as you walk in. He don't need to cut his dreads unless he, because hey, he got a weird head shape. They had suspicions of other stuff that they could never prove. One murder of a kid named Odell, allegedly, according to the internet detectives on Reddit, has King Von's name written all over it. It happened on a Saturday night where 24 other people were wounded across Chicago, but that wouldn't stop King Von from boasting about Modell's death on Twitter all the time. Now finally, in 2014, the police thought they had something. Von and one of his friends were at a crowded house party when a rival GD named Malcolm Stuckey was in the corner, mean mugging them. Von and them took offense, immediately left the party, came back 45 minutes later, shooting at the kid Stuckey, who was outside, along with two other people who tried to run. Stuckey was killed, the two others were wounded, and King Von and his friend were snatched up by police a couple days later. After three and a half years, the trial finally started. It lasted a grand total of five days. Witnesses couldn't be located. Vaughn kept his mouth shut for the whole three years, while his friend confessed to doing the shooting. So, Vaughn beat the case, went home, and his friend got 28 years. As soon as Vaughn was out, the dude he was always arguing with on Twitter, named Wooski, who's a gangster disciple, and his mortal enemy, was attending a funeral at the Bethlehem Star Baptist Church when I just... I literally just read. Okay, so your girl, I had a whole bunch of comments yesterday, and I was like, they just all gonna have to wait till tomorrow. So this morning I woke up and I reacted. I mean, I replied to everybody's comment, and somebody told me that Wooski got shot in his head and still is still living. I don't know what it is right now with bullets going through people's heads. An AK-47 pistol, AKA a Draco, was whipped out and started spraying into the crowd. Dozens of shots rang off and Wooski was shot. Now he survived and King Von was not responsible for this, but that does not stop him from mocking him every chance he gets on Instagram Live. He ain't been the same. He don't talk shit no more, nothing wrong. What the fuck? And this is why Vaughn's fans fuck with him, right? It's the authenticity, it's the allure of the savageness, right? That the fans like. They like that in their music. I don't think they like it in real life, though. Anyways, now Vaughn is in Atlanta making crazy music videos with dope storylines, and his channel's got 150 million views in 11 months, right? He's blowing up, and his fans are diehards, right? They're crazy. They read into everything he posts, looking for clues. Like, this man posted an Insta story just trying to promote his new music video. And people were reading into how many skulls he put in his caption, like, seven skulls? That's seven bodies. King Von has seven bodies. It even got to the point where King Von went live on Instagram himself and said, listen, if the internet was right about the bodies people had, they would be in jail. So don't believe what anyone says. I repeat, anyone. And I'll be honest, I hope that's true. Bless him. All I know is listen, in Chicago, the clubs close at like 12, right? It doesn't go past 12 because of the violence. And I know that King Von can't go to Canada to do shows. He freaking threw me off when they said clubs close at 12. Where I'm from, I think they close at like 2, 1 or 2. I'm not sure. For it to close at 12 because violence, that's Mo then what time does the club open if they close at 12? They gotta open at like 8 or 9, man. He can't go to overseas to do shows. So it's a blessing and a curse, right? Because of his history, King Von creates this allure and this personality that people want to rock with his music, but also fucks up his business opportunities because he can't leave the country. That's pretty much it for this video. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Who do you want me to cover next? Make sure you subscribe. Dude, do, do you? I, ooh. King Von is better than me. That like, what if his what if his music blows up so big overseas and he can't go up there to tour? Cause I'm starting to realize a lot of rappers before they famous, before they known, they be having some crazy stories from their past. So it's like maybe he knew he had a talent with music. He didn't think like it would blow up to where he would be known throughout the whole world. Dang. That's messed up. You can't go to Canada or overseas. I know I'd be mad if I was overseas. I'd be like, he can't, so he can't, he can't come here. So I have to go there. Oh, that means if you like a die hard King Bond fan, that means if you overseas, you gotta come to the United States to see him on tour. But smash the like button, comment something you wanna see below, and subscribe and click the bell and join the gang. If you're new, then definitely subscribe because we're going nowhere but up. 
Follow me on my social media. Definitely follow me on my Instagram, the real underscore is Tania's World. And follow me on my TikTok, is Tania's World. If you like my reactions and you like me as a person and you want to go check my TikToks out and you got a TikTok you want to see me do, then definitely send it to me and I'll get to it. Till next time, remember it's T Gang or No Gang. We out.